I have come across, you know, various um, individuals who I, I would have sworn were, were truly born again, only throughout the course of time to see that they had fallen away or were never really um, saved. And I do remember one in particular, um, a young man who uh, was addicted to drugs. He, he was enslaved and, uh, you know, all manner of what comes along with that lifestyle. And uh, we had preached to him the gospel. and. You know, he had reformed his life. He had gotten rid of the drugs, flushed them down the toilet. He was now coming to church. He got a job, um, he, he, pretty pretty good job, and uh, you know, he had just turned his entire life around. Uh, when it came time to baptism, he gave a tear-jerking uh, testimony of what God had done in his life. And so, everyone, if you looked across the uh, the congregation, there probably wouldn't have been a, a dry eye. But over the course of of time. Um, he just would not part with certain things. Um, he would not let certain sins go and worldliness. And he would always be kind of, I would say, uh, on the outskirts of, uh, instead of diving wholeheartedly and running after Christ, he would kind of um, toe dip and, and just want to know and acquire knowledge. But when it came time to actually giving up certain things in his life, it just didn't seem um, to have the appetite for it. And I didn't recognize it at the time. It was only until one time I got a phone call from this young man and he says, you know, I just don't think I, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as the only way for salvation. And, and who are we to say that, you know, this is true and everyone else is wrong. And so he began to question the veracity, the truth of the Word of God. And uh, before long, um, he fell away entirely. And, and if, you, if you meet him today, he, he has no desire for God. He's just I'm living as though uh, he had never had any of those experiences and that's because he really had never tasted and seen that God is good. All of it was outward reform. It lasted a few years, um, but at the end it, it turned into what it really was, a, a, a mirage or a facade, something that uh, never really was true repentance, sad, sad to say.